congestion. Uh, from here, you would make your way down into the pharynx and then subsequently the esophagus. And so here's the esophagus. And the esophagus is gonna continue all the way down uh, through the diaphragm and eventually uh, drain into the cardiac region of the stomach. And so if you look at that, you have this flat back. Oh, it was yeah. this flat? Yeah, if we look at that, the very uh, point there where the esophagus comes in, this would be the cardiac region. Uh, and then, of course, you have your fundus here, the body of the stomach, and then the pyloric region, which would be the end of that. Uh, now, at the end of the pyloric region, you have your pyloric sphincter, which regulates the passage of chyme into the small intestine. If you open this guy up, you can see the rugae, right? uh, which is basically the mucosa and the submucosa, just constricting and... Uh, taking up space, essentially. Uh, and then as this fills with food, this will distend. Um, so that's the stomach. Here's your lesser omentum, greater omentum, coming off the greater curvature of the stomach. Um, glasses are fogging up there. Uh, if we come over to the right side, after the pyloric sphincter and pyloric region, you see the duodenum. And it's a very brief segment there. Uh, adjacent to that, you see the pancreas brownish structure here. Uh, the rest of the pancreas would be uh, down in this region. Right, here's some of it there. All right, so this is all pancreas going back towards that duodenum. Um, now, we continue to follow the duodenum. This would eventually give rise to the jejunum. And about half of what you're seeing here is jejunum. Uh, the other half is going to be your ileum. Right, so here's your colon. If we look for the part of the small intestine that ends at that colon, which here's the colon still, here's the part of the small intestine that, that ends there, this would be your ileum. And so if we were to follow this back again, half of this would then be ileum. Uh, but if we come back at the ileum, uh, as you go into the cecum, you have the ileocecal valve. Uh, that valve is going to prevent any backflow back into the small intestines from the colon. Uh, the initial portion of this colon is the cecum the cecum, uh, then this would give rise to, in humans, the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and then all the way down to sigmoid and rectum. In the cat, you basically just see the colon. And there's no segmentation here. Uh, so the colon eventually leads to the rectum, then from the rectum to the anus. Um, now, the other accessory structures that we didn't mention were the liver. And so you see the different lobes of the liver. Again, in humans, you would have four. Uh, and this is where you produce the bile. And finally, in this structure here, this green structure, this is the gallbladder. Uh, this is where you're going to secrete and concentrate that bile. And I think uh, those are the major organs. The only other thing to consider would be the mesentery that's holding uh, the intestines together.